Hi folks, I'm back again with Terrapin the Turtle Archaeologist. Um, last time we had a close brush with an owl bear, um, but we are going to bravely continue on through the dungeon. Um, on this new level you can see we found yet another altar, and it is um, once again cross-aligned. So that's a shame, but we are alive. And that's a definite positive. Um, one note is, you may recall I tried to scare the owl bear off with a mirror. Um, and so I checked out how that works. Ooh, an elephant stepping on a peanut. So there's a zoo on the level with a whole bunch of killer bees, which no longer scare me all that much. Good to know. Um, anyway, uh, so it turns out mirrors will never scare humanoid enemies, even if they aren't very intelligent. So an owl bear is humanoid, even though it's at the end of the day an animal. So um, yeah, can't scare it with a mirror. Shouldn't have bothered to try. But all's well that ends well. So we continue our journey. Um, one fact the wiser. And here we've got two potions of paralysis and a new wand, and we're getting burdened again. Ugh. Um, let's see what this wand is. It is striking. That is good to know. Actually, um, so this is not something I do regularly, and probably not something I ever will do regularly, because it would be a real pain. Um, but, I mean, since I was near an altar, maybe I should have considered it. Um, in Evil Hack, Cursed Wands have a chance of backfiring. Um, and that means that they, like, fire their effect at you. Uh, so, like, if a Wand of Death backfires, it just kills you. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure if Magic Resistance would save you, because it's like you zapped it at yourself, I think. Anywho, um, point is, in Grave IDing with wands when you don't know if they're cursed is very slightly sketchy. It's like a 1 in 30 chance that it'll backfire, so unlikely, but not totally impossible. Um, point is, since there was an altar nearby, I probably should have considered just not engraving until I tested the wand, just in case. Um, I'm going to actually take out this wand. After the owl bear, I feel like having this possible teleport wand in open inventory is probably a good idea in case I need it. Um, and then I'm going to leave these potions. I'll just leave all the potions here, I guess, along with ID scrolls. Um, 100 Serpent Scrolls could definitely be Teleport. They're also pretty common scrolls, so... I'll keep those. 200 could be Earth or Taming. Those are both, again, solid scrolls. Although the other two 200 scrolls are bad. Hmm. I think I'll leave them here too, I guess. Especially because Uncursed Earth is kind of dangerous as well, since it drops a boulder on your head. And yeah. Oh, can't accommodate any more items. <sighs> okay, so I'll drop this, this. Actually, should I drop it here? I don't know. Because I'm going to be going up at some point to... Um, to f get some more brown pudding goodness. So maybe I should drop it on the downstair instead. Maybe I should... Hmm. I think I'm going to drop this stuff here. I name my bag uncall my bag canceled because no unnaming was correct. I always mix up calling and naming. Anyway, um, 
because it no longer holds the dangerous wand. So, um, I am not a fan of the fact that you can't use the arrow keys to edit a name. Anyway, um, so I'm going to drop this stuff here and continue exploring down. Once I hit Sokoban, I think I'll just leave all my stuff there. The stuff that I um, don't need immediately. Oh, and already we're going... Okay, so this is the Oracle level. Great. Um, and this is dungeon level 9. Where was I just at? So 7 is one of the altar. Then I went down a level, and then... Okay, so I haven't like gone down a super deep shaft or anything. Oop, another smoky potion. That's a promising find, I suppose. Um, okay, we've got to watch out for nymphs on the level, it seems. But other than that, there's nothing terrifically dangerous. So that's, you know, good. And we've got plenty of ranged options, so that's should be enough to take care of the nymphs. Um, yeah, so Oracle, I generally don't mess with. I know you can like get experience from buying fortunes, but I don't know. It doesn't usually seem worth it to me, especially since I haven't really found any vaults. I like don't have any gold to spare anyway. And I'd like to get protection as soon as I can, because you know, AC is good. It's slightly less important this game than it might be for most turtle games because I found a ring of protection. So I do have a magic cancellation of one, which is usually you've got to rely on buying protection for that as a turtle or getting like gauntlets of protection for MC3. But still, um, I've always liked more AC. Um, one thing to consider is if I get more uh, Mithril Spears, possibly enchanting the whole stack. Um, I don't know. Or even with my stack of six as is, you could argue that that's enough. I'm not sure. Okay, so I switched to my Aklas just so I have that as a ranged option. But I'm going to start throwing my spears because they do more damage. Okay, it's done. Um, and we found yet another potion on a nymph that we found the same potion on a nymph that we did before, so. Probably object detection. Um, and yeah, we're still continuing our policy of tinning nymphs um, in case we want teleportitis for some reason. Um, we continue with the engrave IDing, even though this could be a cursed wand. Oops, I meant to engrave, but yeah, I do actually want to eat the corpse now that you mention it. Okay, light. That's a solid wand. You can use it to blind enemies. Um, Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty decent wand. Um, and this is an ape and not an owl bear, so that's also good news. Um, apes, I mean, they don't do as much damage, I think. Yeah, they do less damage. Um, and also, they don't bear hug you, which is the main thing. So you can always run away if you need to. Um, and we have ourselves a black light here. Um, I have seen visible, if you recall, so I can actually see the black light. Usually, you know, they're invisible. So I don't have a unicorn horn, no way to cure hallucination, uh, but I can blindfold myself. Um, and now it's gone. And it couldn't affect me when I was blind, so we're good. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm exploring this level. 
and ooh, cockatrice. Ooh, I do not have a lizard corpse. And I've left my acid potion upstairs. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. In retrospect, I should have kept the acid on me. Yes. Or I guess we weren't exploring upstairs. I have no idea where we were. Anyway, um, yeah, acid potion. I'm gonna want that. Oops, paralysis trap. Should have checked the container via for you know traps um, via untrap. It's not terribly reliable, and untrapping it often fails, but could have made the effort. Okay, I'm going to take these... No, I'm just going to pick up everything. Um, I don't want to leave it here. but I, So I want to go check out the altar, because I've gotten another smoky potion. If it's blessed, I want to quaff that pretty much immediately. If it's not, well... I probably won't do anything, but I will keep in mind the possibility of blessing the two potions. It is blessed. Okay. That's nice. Um, huh. I'd prefer to test out the potion in a locked room. A uh, finished Sokoban level would be pretty ideal, but Sokoban is pretty deep. It's just below the Oracle level, which we haven't even fully explored yet. Um, so... Um, I'm going to try this room, I think. I just dropped my bag for a sec so I wasn't burdened when I was facing the ogre, which is a decently scary enemy, I think. Although it was no problem for us this time around. Okay, well, the moonstone ring isn't anything obvious. No biggie. Usually isn't. Um, but good to know. Oh, this. Oh, it still has an open doorway. Never mind. Um, snake. All right, um, skilled and spear, here we come. And now I have a multi-shot, that's neat. Um, I'm gonna take this for poison resistance. Um, cool. And I'm satiated again, but like just barely. So with two rings on, should be a big deal. And my dexterity is so low, it's kind of hard to abuse it enough to lose. Oh, I should put the potion in the bag until I actually quaff it. Don't want to lose it now. Um, anyway. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to keep going up, I think, looking for... Oh yeah, we're burdened too. That burns nutrition as well. Oh, nymph. Okay, that was easy. I'm loving these mithril spears. Um, like, yeah, I've never used spears as a ranged weapon before, like ever. Um, like, daggers I've done, obviously, arrows. Um, oh yeah, the one problem is I no longer have a pickaxe, just a matic, which is two-handed. So it's kind of hard for me to dig. Um, even if I did get a pickaxe, I'm not sure I'd want to use it instead of the matic, because it's so much heavier. Um, I just don't know if that's worth it. Okay, here's a room that we can lock off. Um, I have the room locked. I can always go downstairs if necessary. Actually, I'm going to also just drop some stuff here that I don't need. 
which is most of this stuff. Um, we'll keep some potions. Probably over preparing, but you never know. I would definitely want the acid potion. We've just gone over that. Did I drop the smoky potion? I did. Whoops. Um, here we are. Okay, quaffing the smoky potion. It was sleeping. Okay. Um, I mean, I would prefer it not be a detrimental potion, but I'll take it. Um, I don't believe you can alchemize, if that's a word, uh, sleeping, so that's a slight shame, I suppose. Um, Actually, I'm going to drop some of my stash up here because I'm going to be passing by again to go down to mine town, so why not? Um, now the question is, what do I drop here? Some food, I suppose, would be fine. Uh, ID scrolls. Whatever these are, I'll drop some of them, but not all. I'm just going to take out this sleeping potion so I can name it Smoky, so I don't forget about that. Um, I should ID these gems slash drop the useless ones. Okay, let's start with that. Ooh, an emerald. Okay. Emeralds are decently expensive. Oh, hey! The object lookup gives base price for gems. Did not know that. Um, problem is, I only have like a thousand gold. Not even. So, the emerald would give me another 1200 or so, half the base price. And I'd still be far off from the 3600 needed to buy protection. So I'm not going to bother selling it right now. I mean, I'd have to go up to mine town to do it anyway. Um, so I'm just going to drop some stuff and continue down to Sokoban for now. Um, let's see. We certainly don't need all these food rations, especially if we're going to Sokoban soon. I like to keep a tripe on hand, both in case I tame a pet. You know, it's nice to have a possible treat for them. Also, uh, they give you a little bit of experience when you eat them. So if you happen to run into a level draining enemy, like wraiths aren't totally out of the question in Sokoban, especially a deep Sokoban, like the one we have. Um, and if they drain a level from you, you can just eat a tripe ration and gain it back. Um, can make you nauseous, and so I'd much prefer to only do that if I had a unicorn horn on me, but it's one option. Um, something to keep in mind. Okay, what else should I drop? Boop, boop. I'm going to keep all my wands. I don't need the bag of tricks unless I'm sack festing, which currently I'm not doing. I don't need multiple light sources since most of the places I'm going are lit anyway. The emerald I have to sell at a general store, or, yeah. Um, and those are up further up in the dungeon, so I don't need it. Even though it's only 1 AUM, but... Either way, I don't have any... Well... I suppose it could be useful if I, like, get trapped by a unicorn or something in Sokoban, like a hostile one. Well, but it'll refuse to teleport in Sokoban. Hmm. Well, you never know when you might get trapped by a hostile unicorn and want to throw a gem at it. I mean, it, 
honestly, I can't think of the last time that I would use such a strategy, would have used such a strategy, but uh, it's just one AUM, so why not? Okay, down we go. What was this enemy? Oh, another sneak. Okay. Uh, are we lagging? Please tell me we're not lagging. Uh, I guess it just didn't read my keystrokes for whatever reason. Okay. Um, more than half poison resistant. Uh, that's great. I actually, yeah, I think I might go down. So the electricity resistance is kind of bothering me. Um, one thing that I see often in late Soka bonds is uh, energy vortexes, vortices, I suppose is the proper, proper plural. Uh, and they do electricity damage, or like a whole lot of it. So given the fact that I have the ability to become immune to electricity, I think it would be wrong of me not to take that chance. Um, so, but I, I do want to find Sokoban just so I can like get a stash started there. Uh, let me know the spell book first, just so I know what it is once it's in the bag, because the weight will tell me it's level, but it doesn't show tell doesn't display weight when it's in a bag since like the bag could be holding or something and therefore the items inside may not weigh what you think they weigh we have ourselves oh a gecko damn i was hoping we could get some peace of mind with a lizard we do have a potion of acid acid if to as an emergency if we're getting stoned oof oof okay let's let's pick apart what just happened the orc captain shot two poison arrows. Oh, okay, all that happened is an orc captain shot four poisoned arrows, and there's a bunch of messages about it missing and or not missing various killer bees in the way. Still, that was not fun. I'd like to retreat, but I also don't want to be totally mobbed by killer bees. I think I'm going to try to go for this corridor here. There we are. Um, and while the killer bees are not showing up on warning since they're too low level, the York captain most definitely is wherever it is, so I can hopefully avoid that. Okay, I'm just going to go back and lick my wounds a little bit. Oh, more killer bees. Joy. At this point, they're just a nuisance, though because their poison isn't bothering me that much anymore. Okay, I've reached the point where I'm going to stop updating my poison resistance thing. Like, basic deal is more poison resistance, good. I don't need to know exactly how much I have left at this point. Um, yeah. And it's just such a pain to redo it each time. Bone dagger. Where did that get thrown from? Oh, it must have been down here by an orc that I'm not being warned of, I suppose. I guess hill orcs are pretty low level as well. Well, Mithril's putting in the work against all the orcs on this level. I'm decently sure I can take on that uh, orc captain just because I have so many Mithril spears on me. Okay, so it's the red one up there. I'm going to take a step back and fire my spears at it. Okay, yeah, that was super easy. 
And I'm actually just going to leave the poisoned arrows here. They w will still do extra damage to me. About 1d3 damage at this point. Um, but that's not enough to really concern me at this point. Um, and I, I don't want to have to carry around poison stuff if I don't need to, just to avoid the risk of accidentally using it. Okay, that seems like it's this level explored. I find it interesting that turtles can breathe underwater, but breathing in a thick fog is just too much to ask of them. It's a choice. <laughs> okay, that was rotten, so there's a chance I'm going to get stunned again. I hate when that happens. Yep, here we go. I'm just going to wait it out. Alright, wasn't so bad. Watch this one up here, mindless. There's a leprechaun on the level. Um, that could be a source of golds. I don't know. If I happen to run into it, I'll certainly consider taking it on, but um, otherwise I'm not super concerned with it. More poisoned arrows. Um, I wondered if there might be a secret door there, but there doesn't appear to be. So I'm going to just dash past all these wi windows and more windows, or iron bars, technically. Okay, so there's apparently a doorway, yeah, right there. I wonder how a stone bow works. I don't, I wouldn't say that's a bug, but it's, I think it's fair to say it's the result of, it's possibly unforeseen. That's what I'm going to go with, possibly unforeseen. Um, so bows and yumi, and also boomerangs for no particular reason, have a specific list of materials they can be made of, presumably materials appropriate for bows. I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but it's like wood. Maybe mithril for some reason. Iron. I don't think stone is on it, which would make sense, because stone is not flexible in any way. Like metal, you could absolutely make a metal bow. You know, metal can bend. It can coil and spring back and stuff. Um, but stone, I just don't see how it would work. However, um, Orcish bows are just default made of iron, so they get the iron list of materials. The things, they can be made of the same things that any iron weapon can be made of, which includes stone. Um, so, you get a stone orcish bow. I'm not thrilled about being burdened, but I'm close to being able to drop off my stuff at a stash, so I'm just holding out till then. That said, I will drop some stuff here. Don't need all this food, I say for the second time. Lots of heavy tins as well. Let that go drop this one too. Um, I'm close to satiated where I was, so I shouldn't be needing food for a while anyway. Uh oh. I should not have gotten in close range with it. I should have pelted it from range. Um, but no harm done. 
Well, the one really bad thing is if it had started stoning me, I would have lost my intrinsic speed, and that would have been pretty unbearable. Um, I have my gloves on, so I can pick up the cockatrice corpse, and thus I will, because I don't want an enemy picking it up, for sure. And yeah, I'm just sticking it immediately in my bag and forgetting about it until it rots away. Um, lovely, we've got ourselves a smoky potion, and we're burdened again. Ugh. Um, that brief moment of freedom did not last long. We have ourselves a fellow turtle here. They do not like us, apparently, though. Um, I'm just going to check out. Uh, the statues are historical, so I don't want to break them until I finish the quest, because I'll get an alignment penalty. Um, oh, come on. Trapped right again. That's a massive pain. Uh, I'm gonna drop some more random crap here. She could just corpse the spell book. I will never need either of those items. Um, and yeah, that well unencumbers me. And now I'm just gonna go right for the upstairs. Black Naga. Just a straight up Black Naga, okay. Oh. Probably a chameleon, actually. Shit. And... Shit, shit, shit. I need to kill this thing immediately. And of course it's a very tough to kill zombie. Just of course. This is soon okay, it's finally cancelled. I'm going to focus on the gargoyle first and foremost. Okay, it's dead. Finally. Chameleon two. Okay. I I guess I maybe could have run for this stairs and I probably would have got things have gotten worse, but um What am I even wielding? Oh I am wielding the spear. It took me a second to find it. Um I think gargoyles are reasonably quick. No they aren't. Okay, I should have run for the stairs. Well, but I did need to kill the chameleon first, because if it had morphed into something dangerous, that would have just been it. Or it could have, you know, if it was like an arch lick or whatever. Lich. Arc lich? Arch lich? Arch lick? Um, here's the upstairs. Blessed upstairs. Another acid potion? Sure. Um, I think this is probably just a stack. Oh, another cockatrice. Okay, then. What is a smacking sound? I don't know that one. Okay, it was just a stack of items. Put the gold ring in my bag so some leprechaun doesn't steal it from me. And I'm gardened again. Oh, and there's just like so many killer bees and honey badgers. This is just so fun. So fun. Um, so... God damn it! <laughs> uh, I do not want to face more than one of these things at a time. And the queen bee, forget about it. So that was what we, the purple A was a queen bee. Um, they're pretty bad. They're about twice as fast as me. I do have a little bit of a boost from intrinsic speed, but it's unreliable. And they have a sting, and I'm still not fully poison resistant. And they're hard to hit, too. Base AC negative four. Um, 
Plus, there's all these honey badgers on the level, or, or honey bad, whatever they're called. Yeah, honey badgers on this level. They always spawn whenever you have a beehive on a level, um, and they're supposed to go for the honey and eat it, or the royal jelly, and eat it before you can. But um, apparently, that's a rather that's one of those small matter of programming things. Um, so currently, they just head straight for you instead, which means that you can usually find royal jelly just fine, but also means that I will be swarmed by three different honey badgers, and I can't really throttle them in a corridor because they can dig. Plus, there's the queen bee that I can't outrun, and there's some normal bees that are awake just to add insult to injury, and basically I do not want to go up a level, and I'm kind of stuck down here now, which sucks. Well, it's an interesting game. That's the important part, right? Oh, and now we've got an invisible stock on hands. These dudes hit pretty hard. Um, they are skittish, which means they will sometimes step away like they just did. Um, I'm going to tin the corpse for invisibility if I ever need that. Um, it's not really good as an emergency thing, because... Oh, frick, there's a hill giant shaman, too. Those dudes are dangerous. Um, I'm decently high level, and this is decently deep in the dungeon. Actually, I don't remember the exact level at which monsters can cast paralysis. It might be that their base level is enough for that. Um, but it could paralyze me for like 8, 9, 10 turns or so, depending on what its level happens to be. And yeah, I'd just be straight up dead, because it could summon insects, including locusts, which would make me sick. Um, but even just normal run-of-the-mill insects would probably sting me to death over uh, enough turns paralyzed. Um, so I don't want to go near that shaman either. Hobbit mummy is fine. They don't do much damage. I think. It was kind of hitting me pretty Yeah, it's just 1d6. I mean, it's still not great. Well, we finally got ourselves our lawful altar. That's exciting. Okay, maybe this amulet will be good? Maybe that'll flight. I mean, flight is nice, don't get me wrong. It's lovely. But it's not really like what I'd call an offensive boost. Oh, frick. Now I'm kind of trapped between enemies here. I'm going to try to give the shaman and the run around somehow or another. Okay. This could work. Damn gargoyles! <laughs> okay. Plan two. I'm trying to decide whether I should use my lightning wand again. Because there are like multiple dangerous situations that I'm facing right now. Going deeper into the dungeon will only make it worse. And it's decently possible I'll just kill the shaman without a problem. Hmm. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try to take out the shaman before dealing with the gargoyle. Okay, it double moved me. That's okay. Okay, screw it. I'm using my lightning wand. They're all lined up even, so I can get both of them. <sighs> wow, it hit the shaman and the shaman is still alive. Um, mind you, it does, the lightning does 66 damage, so it could have just not done a lot of damage. That is possible. Still, giants are generally pretty tough customers. And I'm not thrilled about being blind either. Also, I've lost most of my ranged weapons. Um... On the bright side, 
our enemies have been separated. This is not good. Really not good. If I was not blind, I could just use my Atlas. But I can't catch it since I'm blind. So. I don't have a carrot, do I? I do have a carrot. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm eating that then. Um, Atlas time. There's double moves, not fun. Even though it's only speed 10, it still gets them on occasion. Because turtles suck. Well, yeah, any any enemy can get two moves on you as a turtle. Because they either get 12 movement points or none, so... If they get 12 movement points twice in a row, they get two moves on you, end of story. If, you know, you don't have enough movement points. So even a speed one movie can get two moves on you. Speed one enemy. Did I say movie? Whatever can get two moves on you, which is just silly, but it can happen. Okay, thank god the gargoyle is dead. Meanwhile, the shamans probably healed themselves up. I actually don't really have to face them anymore? Question mark? Like, they are low-key stalking me. But I think I can stay out of their way. At the very least, I w don't. I'd rather not face them until I have my spears back. I swear, if only I need like one red gem, so I would just keep facing the same worthless piece of red glass. Yeah, there's a lot of that particular worthless red glass. Oh, the giant picked up all my spears. Grr. Well, maybe it'll chuck them at me instead of casting spells at me. I could live with that. Quantum mechanic. <sighs> yeah, what the hell? Let's, um... Okay. If it was a statue trap, I could have... I would have been okay with that. If it had left a corpse, I could tin it for an emergency speed use. Oh, another sh giant. That's fun. Um... Can eat it for strength though, so you know, cool. Uh, I would be like like to sacrifice at least a couple times on the altar, um, but not really doable. Giants can't carry them. There doesn't seem to be much else on the level at the moment. Um, I could maybe try luring over a hill giant. I'm definitely not luring. A giant shaman. I just want you to come over quickly, but not too quickly. I am not about to face it in a place where I can get more than Sick more than one at, uh, enemy on me at a time. So, definitely facing him in a corridor. Yeah, okay. That was really not ideal. Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm blinded again. God damn it. Okay, back to reflecting. Lightning wand, don't fail me. Okay, don't fail me again. Oh, thank God.
there's something there, but it doesn't seem to be attacking me. And yet, it's not. There must be some Cecil enemy, which is bizarre, because why? <laughs> like. Did it just happen to generate there as I was fighting the shaman? Because shamans can't summon them unless they like read a confused scroll of create monster. But the shaman, I don't know why the shaman would get confused. It wouldn't. And also acid blobs do move eventually. Huh. Well, I'm happy to hang out here. Don't get me wrong. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to wait until I'm not blinded anymore. I'm not a fan of all these enemies showing up. Oh, it's a four. Glad I didn't attack it then. Um, there's also a shocking spear, as you can so shocking sphere. So I'm putting my wands in my bag for that, because they will explode. Um, and I'm just not going to deal deal with this four for now. Finally, getting my spears back. The shaman's definitely gone bad. Um, and I'm going to attack the giant from range because it can knock me back and stun me and I'd rather it not. Okay, Orc Zombie's not too bad. Frickin' warning senses, man. I'd rather not know, thank you. At least there's a forge on the level, so I can dispose of these corpses. Eventually. I feel like I'm just hanging on by a thread, you know? Um, but so far we are hanging on. That's not nothing. Um, I mean, I could always use more strength, but I don't really see... myself being able to eat the giant uninterrupted, so I just won't. Um, I'm going to flee... Oh, there's the shocking sphere. I'm all protected, though. My rings are protected by my leather gloves. No wands in open inventory. So I'm just going to get this over with. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay. Okay, the troll I'm going to... Oh, it's... No, okay, it's not faster than me. Um, I'm going to lure it over to the altar, so not only can I not have to worry about it regenerating, but I can also get a sacrifice. Um, one thing is going right, at least. Oop. Oh, more zombies, okay. Zombie down. Um, and the troll's back in the room it started in, of course. I 
I'm not going to bother. Oh, 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 I can sacrifice this one. Plant corpses are still corpses. I'm not going to eat it. Well, because it would grant me hallucinate, hallucination. Nor am I going to bother tinning it, because by the time I am able to deal with hallucination, I'll probably be mostly poison resistant anyway. Okay. Luck is good. Certainly need some right now. I would really prefer a powerful artifact weapon, thank you, Quetzalcoatl, but um, this is a good start. No, come. This troll, man, it does not want to follow me. It's a very forgetful troll. I just want to move this off the altar. The lake and corpse, that's slightly less efficient weight to nutrition wise than a food ration, so always eat your lake and corpses first. Even though you'll probably still get burdened trying to pick up corpses. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'll probably be able to get to the altar in time. Just another way in which turtles are super annoying is their slight slowness just makes it that much more difficult to get corpses to the altar before they go bad. Okay, we're good. Um, if only I had my bag of tricks. That would be very helpful just about now. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to my mithril shields as I go and explore some new territory. Um, I guess I'll pick this up, maybe drop it, and what else do I want to drop? Oh, I have a scroll create monster. I have a lot of unknown BUC things. I should totally test those. Oh, and speak of the devil, we've got ourselves a wraith. Well, we weren't really speaking of it. Not recently. Okay, no corpse. Um, at level 10, archaeologists get searching, so I am somewhat excited for that. It's a neat intrinsic. Not like stand out useful in the way some are. Like if you don't have it, it's never like there's some gotcha moment where it kills you. But it is a very helpful intrinsic to have nonetheless, I think. Blessed scroll of great monster. Yeah, what the hell? Let's read it. Of course, we get an unsacrificable creature. I'm not even sure if I can lift an Etten in order to get them into the forge. It's me trying to get it over the forge when I kill it, but I probably won't be able to by the time it moves off, case in point. Uh, well, now it's just getting too far away. Oh, come. I'm hoping I can drop it at least. Within a square of the forge. What just happened? Why did it fall into the forge? Are you shitting me? Is that a bug? I feel like that's a bug. 
That seems like the behavior you'd get at a sink. And I don't know why it would be the same behavior as in a forge unless it was... All right, I'm going to try throwing something over the forge in a different direction. Yeah, they land on the forge. I feel like that's not, not correct. We'll see. Um, Cause like, okay, here's a sink. If you throw an item across it, it stops at the sink because it sinks down. Um, it's kind of similar. If you're levitating and you go over a sink, you fall to the floor. But I mean, I don't think that happens with fountains. Anyway. Oh, another cockatrice. Hey, okay. Um, yeah, I'll take the expert and spear. I don't really have enough spears that the multi-shot is that useful, but I will not turn it down either. Sometimes it's nice to be able to kill things like one turn faster. Oh, and we've got ourselves a wumpus. So I could eat this closet for poison resistance, but as I've said before, I'm not too worried about it anymore. And I, I really... Okay, we have a gift. It's not an artifact, but okay. Enchanted leather gauntlets of protection I will totally take. <sighs> Plus three, okay. The worst it could possibly be, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, did I? Where did I miss a? Where did I lose a spear? Oh, come on! I only have four mithril spears quivered. Can they like fall down sinks or something? That would be really dumb. <laughs> oh, and why am I wielding my Atlas? That's also somewhat dumb. <sighs> Is it down here for some reason? What could have been done with my spear? I don't know. Um, oops, old rant. Okay. Let's go sacrifice that puppy. Whoa. That was a fast moving giant. Giant should not be that quick. How fast are they? Speed 14? <laughs> no wonder. I mean, they are large, so I like could see why they cover ground quickly, but... Oops. I'm going to switch to my Matic, even though it'll take a turn or two. Because... I think it will help me take out the mummy faster. And I will tin it for the extra strength. I could have done that with some of the rotten giant corpses, I guess. Oh well. Hindsight and all that. Um, what could have happened to that fifth spear, man? Well, the one benefit of doing these recordings is that I don't have to go look up the DTY rec. I'm going to have to watch the video anyways when I'm editing it, so maybe I'll discover it then. Um, I think that's probably enough moping around this level. Well, we've got ourselves a nice sacrifice gift. That's great. Oh, I should 
curse test it just for posterity. You and I know it's blessed. Such a cheerful green. Um, okay, let's explore the next level, I guess. Still don't want to go back upstairs. I am feeling better, though, that we're not going to die. <laughs> like, I was feeling kind of like the walls were closing in, but... I think we have a chance, even though we're kind of trapped down here. Um, we've got ourselves some nice armor. Our weapons are doing okay. We can make this work. Um, I do wish I know knew where that sphere had gone off to. Because, yeah, I'm kind of feeling... Like I don't have enough of them with my three multi-shot at the moment. I'm considering not wielding a spear as my main melee weapon. Like maybe even going with my Matic. I think I'm actually going to do that. So far the polished shield has not done me much good. Oh, shit, that's why they're not merging. <sighs> because I've hit, I've killed enough enemies with the Mithril Spear that it's ID'd itself. So now it won't merge. So now I have to kill a bunch of enemies with the rest of my spears. Oh, and then if I ever find the Sixth Spear, I'll have to do it again with that one. That's a pain. Oh, huh, another Moonstone Ring. I already have one of those. Ooh, lots of stuff here. Huh. Should probably check on the BUC of some of this stuff. Uh oh. Fast moving. Okay, just a soldier in. I can deal with that. And a dingo. I can definitely deal with that. Um, I am happy to be at a stage in the game where I can say just a soldier in. I will say that. Oh, I'm hungry. Like, seriously hungry. Um, and I should probably get this giant meat eaten at some point. So, no time like the present. Um, alrighty. Quivering blob, love them. They're just so funny. Oh, I wasn't burdened before. I guess I, that extra constitution helped me out. Every time I come back to the level, it's like, where could that... spear have gone? Have I been missing it for a while and it's under... There it is! Wow, I was missing it for a long time and I just didn't notice. Because <laughs> um, it must have been back when I was fighting the, the hill giant... Or not the hill, the giant shaman. And I'm just walking around with one fewer spear for a while. Huh. Okay, that's cool. Um, I think on that cheerful note, I'm going to finish up this video. I've been a little bit grumpy and whiny, <laughs> um, but I'm feeling much better about our prospects this point in the game. And yeah, that forge thing was odd, but with this object sinking in it, but it'll be fun to figure out why that happens. Um, okay, I think we'll finish off the video with an epic fight against an ogre king. Why not? Um, and it's slow, so I don't mind coming up close and personal, and if... Okay, fight went fine. If it had been going badly, I would have been able to flee pretty pretty easily. Did I eat too much? Oops. Um, okay. Got ourselves one potion of water. We might want to make ourselves some more holy water potions. We could bless our 
I'll gain whatever potion. Plus our sleeping potion? Probably not. Well, we have two of them for one, so we might as well bless them at the same time once we get back up to it. It's on like D level 4 or something. We can drop this cursed potion of acid for sure. Just all these cursed potions you don't really need at the moment. And back to the altar we go. Little dog. So eating pets is a bad idea. Or sorry, eating domestic creatures like cats and dogs is a bad idea. Sacrificing them is fine as long as they weren't pets. Well, moot point because it didn't leave a corpse. But Oh, another potion of holy water then. I was thinking about maybe doing a water prayer, which is why I brought the uncursed clear potion up here. Um, but if I already have uh, two potions of ho holy water, then I don't feel a particular need to get a third one at this moment. And I would much, I'd very much like to get another gift. Okay. Well, those are probably zombies, so we're leaving this level again. And this time, for real, we're ending the video. I will see you all next time. I'm going to explore deeper in the dungeon, and hopefully, after a Rocky-esque montage, I will be brave enough to go back upstairs, find Sokoban, get all my stuff back, go back to Mine Town and get my resistances in order. There's a lot of stuff to do. And we're going to do it. I have faith. Um, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, folks.